What's up guys? So I've been meaning to do this video for a couple weeks now. Uh, I just haven't had the time to sit down and actually film aside from other stuff I've been filming. Um, I just didn't have the time to actually sit in my office and uh, get some filming and editing done with uh, this, so to speak. So I have picked up a lens in the last couple weeks for my Canon T6i. It is the 50 millimeter f1.8 STM lens. You can see it there. It is what normally a lot of people call it is the nifty 50 or the Canon pancake lens. I did pick this up for $129 uh, here in town. So far, I love the lens. It's immediately just a huge difference in my portraits, in my, you know, I love the bouquet in the background. I used it a bit, you might have seen my Halloween stuff that I just uploaded. A uh, quick little video I posted on my Instagram. If you're not familiar with my Instagram, get over there, I'll post a link below. It's just Dennis Papineau Media. Uh, one thing I will point out with this lens that I found is that you won't be able to do if you're doing like your handheld uh, vlogging, walking around. Just the cropping is so dramatic. It is a 50 millimeter. So there's no, no change. You can't zoom in or out or whatever you want to call it. Uh, right now I'm using my kit lens that came with the Canon T6i, the 18 to 55 millimeter. Um, I don't really have much else to tell you about the lens. Like I said, the aperture is 1.8, uh, is the lowest you can go, which just creates those buttery blurred out backgrounds, uh, that a lot of people are liking. That's kind of the big thing right now. Uh, aside from that, we'll just quickly switch over. I'll make this video as quick as possible. I wanted to do a cool unboxing like I did with my mic. Uh, I just haven't had time. I did have some filmed, but it wasn't, you know, I didn't do it in whole and I just didn't want to throw it all together. So uh, aside from that, I'll switch over to the other lens, the new lens, the 50 mil, and we'll see what the difference is. So now we're shooting on the 50 millimeter F1.8. This is my new lens. Uh, like I said, it's a very small lens. It kind of looks cool on the camera, very thin. I will take some video of it after I remove it from the camera. But as you can see, the background is very blurred out. Uh, the cropping is very noticeable. I'm sitting in the exact same spot. The camera's in the same spot it was. All I did was switch from lens to lens. I haven't changed any settings as far as uh, my shutter speed or my aperture. Uh, obviously the 50 mil I had set to 3.5 the lowest it would go and now I have the 50 mil set to 1.8 also the lowest it will go so as all that being said I would definitely recommend this lens it's very cheap it's awesome if you're I don't take many photographs but I do like to take pictures of my kids and stuff for family events for just for personal use and I love the outcome of the pictures um, as far as video, you can probably notice, I have noticed that it's very noisy when it's focusing in and out. For myself, I would turn off the uh, continuous autofocus, uh, it just seems to kind of help out with the noise. Um, unless you're using it for, you know, a cinematic, when you're gonna, not going to be using the audio, then by all means, uh, I'm just giving my personal opinion. So that's basically it. Uh, this has been a quick review of the Canon 50 mil. Uh, I'll put all the links below. As always, make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I appreciate all the love. We recently surpassed 100 subscribers. Also, uh, if you're not on my Instagram, make sure you get over there. I recently passed 10K uh, for followers on there. So I obviously do a lot more content on there and I hope you guys are enjoying it all. Thank you very much and we'll see you next time.